Hey you, and so I pray that you're going to keep your channel right where it's at. You're on the right station. It's Joy Prime. My name is Movi, and I am the motivator. Don't forget, every single weekday before I come here, I'm on radio. That's 103.9 FM hits means entertainment and then i come here joy prime where we give you real entertainment so make sure that you're following the multimedia group because we only churn out you know great shows for your enjoyment welcome to the show it is fresh juice and it airs every single day at 4 30 p.m yes make sure you're going on our social means it's very simple at joy prime official ig and facebook and at real joy prime on twitter many thanks to my stylist susanna creator for styling me today. My nails is by Lady One Yard, right opposite the Mission Clinic at Caprice. Trust me, One Yard is with it. Modern time, you know, nail technician, I'm telling you. Like, it's gel and the catty eye nail polish. Um, you know, I, I mean, she has it all. Anything at all that they're doing in America and the US, um, in the US and the UK, she's doing it here already. Although other nail technicians don't know. So find her, Lady One Yard Nails and Makeup on Instagram. Well, I'm gonna take a short break. When I come back, hmm, I'll tell you who my crew is. <laughs> Welcome back from the break. So you already know that we are full of surprises every single time we come here. Like I said, let me introduce you to my crew, MCR, Max and everyone out there. Thank you so much. Um, to Tonel, um, our new editor, thank you for your hard work. You're doing amazing. Thank you so much. And I pray that you stick and stay. Um, to Sammy, the director, thank you for everything you put in us. Richard, my sound guy, prop guys, you know, Uncle Ben and his crew, lighting, um, Fresh Boy One, and of course, the reason why you're seeing me right now through those lenses, it is Father Abraham. Mr. Abraham, thank you so much for always putting smiles on my face, though. Anyway, Auntie, yeah. Chede, what's it? Um, a shen. Obi Anka, no, Tini Baby. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'll say, oh, you're better than when they say when it comes to singing. Auntie, we're doing swag pick of the day, as we haven't done that in a while. But we're not talking about singing skills or, or singing swag. We're talking about swag. Who has more style? Who is more stylish? But Wendy Shea, um, yeah, Ishan says she's a better singer than you. I don't know why she said that though, but I don't know. Is she trying to start a fight with you or are you trying to start a fight? With, I don't know. How did that start? It's all your America, though. Yeah, better than somebody when you went asked. Anyway, that's her opinion. What's yours about? swag between Wendy Shea and Ishan. Let's see that. Oh, I love it when you tell me that you love me too. Cause one plus one is two. I love you from the bottom of my heart is true. I just can't wait to say I do I love it when you tell me that you love me too Cause one plus one is two And then my kumen I just can't wait to say I do I will picture me I am on a so in me Me do, me do, Time I can't talk. When you say you're on the beat, 
Okay, so who has more swag? Not who can sing better. Please, that's what we're judging by right now. Anyway, um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I think I brought you this bad news, sad news already. Uh, but finally, we're going to lay Nana Turks into rest. And um, here are more details on his funeral arrangement. Late entertainment pundit Bertrand Nanataxin will be buried on August 31, 2018. The 42 year old died at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital on August 7, and the cause of his death is still unknown, although earlier reports indicated that he was diabetic. His funeral arrangements was announced at his one week observation. According to his family, there will be no wakekeeping for him, but there will be a burial service at the Saints Look Anglican Church, Pashiman, on August 31st. That will be followed by a private burial the same day and then a Thanksgiving service on Sunday, September 2nd at the same venue. Nana Bertrand Turkson was an entertainment critic and author of the Success Journal and he was popularly known for his depth of knowledge in the arts and showbiz, sense of humor and objectivity. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Sad indeed. It is sad. I mean, I've listened to some of his shows on the radio and my mom and I, you know, used to laugh. He, he, he had that sense of humor, you know, so we pray that he rests in the bosom of God. Anyway, uh, Lucky Lawson also has something to say. And um, I don't know if you agree with what her uh, opinion is, but if you do, hey, that's you. If you don't, that's you as well. But she believes that men are natural cheats. Ghanaian actress Lucky Lawson is still trying to find answers to what men want in women. She believes men are confused as to what they want in a woman because it's very difficult for them not to cheat. She disclosed that she always advises her friends never to bend over backwards trying to please a man because they will forever cheat. And she said, it is a waste of time to hit the gym and look good just for a man. If a lady is doing it for herself to stay healthy, that is fine but it should not be for a man. I was very slim and had to put on weight just to please one of my exes, but he still cheated on me and that led us to, uh, to break up. The long and short of it is that men cannot be predicted on the next action they want to take. Women are more faithful in a relationship than men and I can say that on authority. Asked if her husband has ever cheated on her, Lucky Lawson, who has been married for 10 years said no, but the suspicion is always there. Well, Kafui Day also is making our headlines and if you haven't heard, apparently he has been fired from the EIB network and um, rumors, well, rumor has it that it was because of sexual misconduct, but he is here to rubbish all those claims. Broadcast journalist Kafui Day has denied media reports that suggest he parted ways with his former employer's EIB network due to sexual misconduct. In a statement on his Facebook page in reaction to the claims, the former Who Wants to Be Rich host disclosed that the stories are absurd and parts of his statement read, a publication which alleges that I was fired by EIB network over sexual misconduct has come to my attention. 
Much as the website is supposed to be a spoof site, I view such a publication seriously considering the direction the author has taken with her fabricated story. I was not fired by my former employers, nor do I have any accusations leveled against me in any form. A simple check at EIB Network would discredit this claim and any other claim in the story. Issues of sexual misconduct are no joke, and these cowards should not hide behind a so-called disclaimer on a spoof website to make statements that hurt people. And the reality TV show that obviously, you know, has, should I say, given some young people the opportunity to be musicians is starting its next season. All of you to MTN House as we launch the seventh edition of the MTN Hitmaker. As you all know, the MTN Hitmaker has remained a proprietary event through which we identify, nurture, and economically empower talented young Ghanaians who desire a career in the music industry. Since the launch of the MTN Hitmaker in 2012, we have successfully produced music talents such as Material, that was in season one, Kun Takra in season two, Tokwi in season three, Kidi season four, Cool Songs, season five and Frida Rhymes season six. We are happy to say that even though even those who were unable to win the ultimate prizes have successfully developed their careers through the training and exposure that the MTN hit me kind of And it looks like all the celebrities want to take a turn at the you know star boy quacking and bullet you know fracas like seriously um, Bulldog said something yesterday. It looks like A plus also wants to be heard. As you have already heard, Mr. Kwating in a recent interview um, revealed that he only received 2,000 Ghana CDs uh, from the tribute concert held in honor of his late daughter. And reacting to this, Bullet out of anger described Mr. Kwating also as a greedy man and listed the number of times he gave him money since the demise of his daughter. Many concerned celebrities have condemned the counter-attacks, uh, calling for reconciliation between the two parties so as to preserve the legacy of the dead musician. And adding his voice in a short Facebook post, A+, Plus, who also re requested, um, also has his opinion, requested to know where Mr. Kwating was when his late daughter, Priscilla Opoku Kwating, was struggling to survive years back while sleeping in a friend's house before she finally made a name in the music industry. <laughs> Okay, so who else is gonna jump on this? But I don't know if you've heard. You have, if you haven't, and see, yeah, episode has released a song after the whole, you know, um, well, bu bullet. According to Mr. Kwating, uh, his name was on there for receiving 700 Ghana CDs for the tribute concert, and he's released a, an amazing song. I mean, this is the hit of the century like for real you guys need to go back in the booth and learn a few tricks from episode unfortunately we cannot find the title of the song so we couldn't download it for your pleasure but episode your management has to do better than that we're taking a short break when we come back hopefully ding ding i'll activate the phone line welcome back so i want you to call me and uh, let's discuss some of the things. I'm going to do only one call, so it's going to be brief, okay? But this Saturday, August 18th, Joy Prime is bringing you a live, should I say, you know, uh, transmission of the excellent Man of the Year Award. That's the Emmys 2018 at 6.30 p.m. So that means that... Um, your favorite shows like um, obviously Miss Universe Ghana 2018, The Diva Diaries is going to be at 4.30 tonight. 
tomorrow instead of the 7.30, the usual time, 7.30 p.m., okay? So make sure you're catching the Miss Universe Ghana 2018 at 4.30 p.m. on Saturday. And then we're going to go back to normal from Sunday. So Sunday is at 7.30. Uh, you're going to miss a few shows, a few of your favorite shows, but we sincerely apologize for any, you know, emotional inconvenience. Obviously, Joy Prime is still real entertainment. So make sure you're catching the live transmission of the Emmy Awards right here on Joy Prime. Okay, do I have any callers? Not yet. Oh, unfortunate. But 0302-211-698 and 699. Hello. Yes. Thanks for joining us. What's your name? Joining me. Oh. Please, uh, I'm calling Dominic. Bye-bye. Okay. Huh? So it's 0302-211-698 and 699. No, yeah, simple. <laughs> Hey. Anyway, ep episode song. Apparently, uh, the title is The Truth. So go get it. The Truth is the title of ep episode's um, new song that I'm crazy about right now. Let's see if we can get one call before we go home today. It's Friday, so we should have a little bit of fun, right? 0302-211-698 and 699. Hello? Hello? Oh, Sam, so that caller does not want to call Fresh Juice. My goodness, we're missing all call, all, all other standbys. What's going on? Anyway, so obviously the gossip out there um, is definitely about, you know, bullets and Mr. Quarting. And um, it's not pretty. Let's not, you know, encourage it. Let's rather, you know, squash all of that, okay? Please make sure you're living in peace and harmony. My name is Movi the Motivator, and I will catch you, same time, God willing, next week. Take care of yourselves. God be with you. I'm done. Maybe.